The corkscrew is the base mechanic of the downhill skating system. In this video, I'll show you how to learn it and teach it. So it's a really simple drill. You're just going to keep both feet flat uh, on the ground or on the ice, and you're going to cut on your inside edges. Stick handling with your hands, and you're going to get as wide as you can. Notice here comes the hips rotating from this way to this way. So notice how the hips turn. The other thing you might notice is that when the hips start to turn, I start picking up a lot more speed with a lot less effort. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. I'll begin by showing my players the corkscrew in action and explain how all Magic 8 mechanics link from the corkscrew. I'll begin by getting a baseline on the corkscrew form. After showing the players a video of the corkscrew, I'll ask them to demonstrate it just by what they've seen visually. We progress by explaining to the players how to use inside edges, forward shin angle, and hip rotation. The second round of the corkscrew, you'll see noticeable improvements just from explaining those downhill skating mechanic techniques. I'll then add a block or two to force the player's legs to be double shoulder width. You will noticeably see a recoding of the skating form. This would conclude corkscrew session number one. Session number two, I would start incorporating a puck, focusing on wide legs and matching hand and foot movement. I'll always encourage wipeouts. Stay positive. Challenge equals change. Yes, good. Wide legs, wide legs. Wide, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Oh, good try. We then encourage the speed of the corkscrew by sending the players a little faster in the line. We also work on the backwards corkscrew, and you'll see the transitions between the blocks always in a wide leg. I'll also add a block before the shot to encourage a corkscrew wide leg shooting position. It's important to emphasize the patience of the learning development process. That would conclude corkscrew session number two. Corkscrew session number three will start incorporating the corkscrew with puck protection. I use this awesome Jason Yee drill he uses in his downhill skating system camps, yeah. moving the puck away from player pressure. We then also work on using the corkscrew with split vision. Split vision is one eye on the puck, one eye on the play. As you can see, the players are rapidly improving their corkscrew form. Corkscrew session number four, I'll begin with a power jump, focusing on a wide corkscrew takeoff, a wide corkscrew landing, and a corkscrew transition. I wanna see those hips moving and the feet staying wide. We then chart our 30-day corkscrew progress by doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the player's corkscrew with an elite NHL player's corkscrew. I love seeing the double shoulder width being established, increasing the forward shin angle, and what I really love here is matching the hands and the feet with the puck movement, a la Jack Hughes. Players love to see their progress. You can use your words and be positive. The visual is very powerful and will move the needle of progress 
the fastest. Stay positive, be patient, happy hockey, and the downhill skating system is the route to becoming a top goal scorer. Dive into the thrill of mastering the corkscrew and seven more elite skating mechanics. Find our contact information in the video description.